Dungeon King. Everything's better, but it's all a trap. You may come out when you've learned to be a loving daughter. Welcome to the video store. Big promo today. 341 stop motion movies. What is stop motion in cinema? So stop motion is a form of animation where physical objects are moved in small increments between individually photographed frames to create the illusion of motion. For example, Star Wars used a lot of stop motion in the original trilogy. Or Robocop. It's not always flawless looking, but I'm just very fond of this type of practical effects. Three movies, let's go! What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. Let's start with an ultimate classic. It often comes up first when talking about stop motion. The Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993. Jack Skellington, king of Halloween Town, discovers Christmas Town, but his attempts to bring Christmas to his home causes confusion. This dark and inventive movie doubles up as a Christmas and Halloween flick. With music from the legend, Danny Elfman, he's also the singing voice of the main character Jack Skellington, a story by the great Tim Burton and directed by Henry Selick, it's a feast for the eyes and for the ears. Timeless. Pop question for you, would you rather watch this one in October or in December? Okay, the second pick is a bit of an odd one. You're not necessarily going to like it. Maybe if you watch it on the influence, you will. But as a university student studying animation, it struck a chord within me back then. Alice, 1988, is a Czech surrealist dark fantasy Alice in Wonderland adaptation. It's written and directed by Jan Svakmaja. It's an uneasy movie to consume, but one that I used to watch quite often when I was in school. Everything in this movie is unnerving and raw. You can almost taste the wood and the dirt. If you watch this one, I really want to hear your thoughts on it. The link to the full movie is in the description below. <laughs> Coraline Jones always dreamed of finding a better world. Last but not least, one of my favorite stop motion picks, Coraline. While exploring a new home, a girl named Coraline, played by Dakota Fanning, discovers a secret door. It's also directed by Henry Selick, who directed The Nightmare Before Christmas. Same as the former movie, when you look at the cover, it might seem like a kid movie, but it's also a tale for adults. Some scenes might actually scare your kids. It has a discourse about adulthood, memory, growing up, and losing the spark as youth is slipping by. The willingness to live and to evolve. I love this movie. It's visually and conceptually stunning. It really left its imprint on me. Let's, Let's talk. 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 Hello. Let's talk. Have you seen any of these three movies? Did you like them? Is there another stop motion movie that you would have put in the list? For more 342, the video store is the place to be. Subscribe to get your free membership and like to support your local video store. Quickly. And what did Santa bring you, honey? Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Until I see you again at the store, Brainiac. Stop. Move. Stop. Move. You could stay here forever. There's one tiny little thing we need to do. Black is traditional. 